everyone, welcome back to the Baby V Show. Today is March 25th, which is my father's birthday, so I gotta send a birthday shout out to my dad, Larry Gothi. I love you, and I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Now let's get into Let's Talk About Idol. Let's talk about Idol. This week on Idol was Billboard Hot 100, so all the idols had to pick a song from Billboard Hot 100. And Miley Cyrus came on the show, and she was coaching the contestants and giving them tips and advice. I wish I could have met Miley and worked with Miley. That would have been awesome. My favorites this week was Michael Lynch and Sobon Magnus. Michael, Big Mike from St. Petersburg, Florida. Shouts out to Florida. I'm a Florida girl, so I got to support the Floridians. But Big Mike is awesome. He plays the guitar and he can perform without the guitar really, really well. Another one of my favorites is Sobon Magnus. She's awesome. She sang um, Superstition this week. It was very, very good. Go Sobon Magnus. I love her so much. Last night was Elimination Night. And unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to Paige Miles, a Southwest Florida girl, just like me. But don't give up. American Idol might be over, but this is only the beginning. Keep following your dreams, girl. Okay, that's it for Let's Talk About Idol. Now let's kick it over to Boom, to the Queen, to the Shuh. Boomquisha. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Boomquisha. That's Boom to the Queen to the show. And first off, I just got to say, happy birthday, Uncle Larry. I hope you have a great day and everything like that right there. Without further ado, let's get right on into some Ask Boomquisha. Okay, for number one, Boomk. My question this week is, what's your most favorite movie in the whole world? Well, me and my favorite cousin, Baby B, we got the same favorite movie, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That's the original one. Not the one that just had came out maybe like four or five years ago. We talking about the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. For number two, what do you think about the new trend of girls shaving the sides of their heads and leaving the rest started by Cassidy? Would you ever consider shaving the sides of your head? Well, no, listen, I ain't gonna be able to do all that right there. For number one, um, I never really liked that sort of thing. I mean, whatever floats your boat, it look crude on them. They can do that. It look crude on them, not me. So, and another thing is, I'm not a follower. I'm a leader. So, maybe if I would have had that epiphany and started to shave the side of my head first, I can run with that, but... I ain't worried about that. I'll leave that for them. Thank you for your questions this week, Meander. Meander is a part of the Baby V Street Team. If you want to be a part of the Baby V Street Team, all you got to do is send your name and your zip code to Bunzel Solomon Music at Yahoo.com. Okay, y'all already know what time it is. Everybody go get your mug. Boom, Quisha finna get y'all the tea. Okay, y'all. Today, I just want to talk about this. People that do crazy things. And you be like, what in the devil is wrong with these people? <sighs> so, me and my best friend had went to Walmart on Sunday and everything like that right there. So, we just roaming along in like the frozen food aisle. Right, right. And we just looking in the frozen thing, you know, looking for some, you know, chicken and tilapia and ground beef and stuff like that, everything like that right there. And some man just, just walked right on in front of us, so rude, like he didn't see us standing right there and everything. And he didn't even much say to screw me. But you know, me and my best friend, being the good girls that we is, we just had went ahead and brushed that off and kept right on going. And then, like, a few seconds later, we had smelt something. This man done cut in front of us, all rude and everything like that right there. And he cut the cheese. <sighs> so, basically, this man just walked right in front of us and everything like that, all rude and everything. And then, on top of all of that, had the audacity to cut the cheese. <sighs> Are you serious? And, y'all, he didn't just cut the cheese, y'all. He cut it. He boiled it. He melted it all at the same time and all just one walk when he walked in front of us. I like to kill me and my friend. And this wasn't an ordinary cheese. That wasn't an ordinary cheese, y'all. That was some old mozzarella 
uh, 10 year old hog head cheese or some a 30 year old goat cheese or something like that right there. That was atrocious, honey. And in the midst of our stomachs hurting and everything like that from that mess, now I was just thinking, why do people do crazy things like that? Did your mama teach you any kind of manners? Hello? Like, ugh, that is not normal. Now, see, if I would have walked up and snatched him up and slapped him to sleep, now, I would have went to jail and I would have been in trouble. So, we can't do stuff like that. But you would think people would know you ought not just walk by people and cut the cheese and I almost like to kill them and everything like that right there. He had me and my friend about to call the ambulance to come get us because we was in pain because our stomach was hurting. And then... My best friend was about to vomit. Now that's a mess. That's truly a mess. So the team for the day is everybody. No matter what everybody got going on around you, and if they cut the cheese and how you about to vomit and call the ambulance to come pick you up, and if they cut you off on the freeway and then slam on the brakes and try to make you run into them and all this crazy mess, just brush it off. It ain't even worth you going and slapping them to sleep because then you're going to be in a world of trouble. Hello! So don't even much worry about that crazy mess going on around you in the world. Just brush that off. Long as you living right, long as you doing right, because everything you do basically come right back around to you. So if you do good stuff, then it's gonna come right back around to you. Just brush that crazy mess off and everything like that right there. Okay, everybody, that's all my time. But make sure you keep it locked right here every Thursday at 10.30 p.m. And I would love to hear from y'all. So you can write me and tell me all your questions right here at boomquisha at gmail.com. And don't forget, hit your girl up on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, all of that right there. And make sure you keep it locked right here because every week, you know your girl going to give it to you all the way real. All the way live. Every single time. I love y'all. Bye. <laughs> Boom, Quisha. Okay, y'all. Until next time, be safe, be blessed, and be encouraged. Peace. <laughs> the baby v show the baby v show yeah